गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट आई पूर्णिमा वेलकम यू टू माई क्लास एंड टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू डू द पोएम एनिमल्स सो एंड इट इज रिटन बाई वर्ल्ड वाइट मैन सो लेट मी टेल यू समथिंग अबाउट द ऑथर फर्स्ट देन आई विल बी डूइंग द बैकग्राउंड ऑफ द पोएम एंड फाइनली चिल्ड्रेन आई विल बी टेलिंग यू अबाउट द एक्सप्लेनेशन वी विल डिस्कस द एक्सप्लेनेशन एंड सम न्यू डिफिकल्ट वर्ड एंड डिफिकल्ट एक्सप्रेशन so let's start with the poet walt whitman was an american poet essayist and journalist so chill and let me tell you about the poet walt whitman was an american poet essayist and journalist he was born on 31st may 1819 in new york he died on 26 march 1892 leaves of grass O oh, captain my captain and song of my son so leaves of grass o oh, captain my captain and song of myself are some of his great work the present poem animals written in free verse is one of the poem published in leaves of grass so this is all about the poet okay and now children i will be telling you about the poem we will discuss the poem then and then the central idea of the poem and style of the poem will be discussed so the poet walt whitman tells frankly that he feels more comfortable and a and at home with animal rather than his fellow human being that means he is more free with animals rather than with his friends he has lost so much faith in the race of man that he want to turn and change his position with animals human beings have become mad running after material possession they are bundled of complication contradictions and confusion their conscience is not clear and so they suffer from nightmare and weep for their sin animals on the other hand are calm self contained and contented they don't run after material thing after their food they don't need to worship god as they never suffer from any sense of guilt or sin ancestors of human being shared this token of love and understanding in the remote past unfortunately humans have lost their virtues and tokens of love and understanding completely forever so children now i am going to discuss the poem point wise so my first point is comfortable with animal comfortable with animals so the poet wishes that he would switch over his loyalty and faith from human being to animals he wants to live with them as if he is more comfortable in their company animal appears to be very peaceful independent self sufficient and self contained he is fascinated by them he stands and look at them for a long time now second point animal don't sweat and whine so my second point is animals don't sweat and whine this is my second point of this poem human beings are never satisfied with their condition they are always demanding animals never worry themselves about their condition nor do they ever complain they have a clear conscience they enjoy a sound sleep at night they never have to weep for their sin 
on the other hand humans suffer from a guilty conscience they they are mistreated trouble their soul and they never enjoy a sound sleep or deep sleep at night they weep over their sin and misdeeds shed tears on them at night human being pretend to show their love faith and duty to god such pretentious and false worship make the poet say animal never do such pretensions they never display their love and duty to god actually such issues are meaningless to them okay so they never display their love and duty to god actually their issues are meaningless to them now my third important point of this poem is animals don't suffer from mania of owing things so third point is animals don't suffer from from mania animal don't suffer from mania of owing of owing thing so children this animal uh, they don't suffer from mania to owe the thing the poet doesn't find even a single animal that may appear to be dissatisfied there is no animal which suffer from the madness of possessing things on the other hand human are never satisfied they are competing with one another in the mad race for material possessions no response for ancestor so children so my uh, fourth point is no respect for ancestor no respect for ancestor no animal shows respect by kneeling down to another animals nor do they show any respect to the ancestors of their race these are the pretension of human beings and not that of animals no one is responsible or happy over the whole earth for them so children this is all and the last point of the poem is poet accepts animal poet accepts animal animals are straight forward they show their relation to the poet the poet responds to them positively he accept them as they are they have retained all those virtues which the ancestor of the human race shared with them in the past animal show those tokens still in their possession so unfortunately human had lost those virtues much earlier so human being children have lost their virtues much earlier the poet wonders how animal still retains them so children this were the all the important points and the explanation of the lesson now i will be telling you the main point of the poem Uh, that is uh, once again i'm going to discuss the main point the poet feels more comfortable and at home with animals he doesn't feel comfortable with human beings he wants to move away from human being and live with animals animals are calm and contented they never weep over their miserable condition as human do um, they never worship god and weep for their sin they don't suffer from the 
mania or madness of owing and possessing things they don't fall down on knees to show respect to other thousands of years ago a sister of human being possess the qualities of love and kindness men have lost their tokens of love but animal still retain them human beings are confused greedy and over ambitious while animals are not so children these are where the main points of the lesson and now uh, i'm going to explain the central idea of the poem the poet walt whitman tells frankly that he feels more comfortable and at home with animals rather than his fellow human being he has lost so much faith in the race of a man that he wants to turn and change his positions with animals human being have become mad running after material possession their bundle of complication contradictions and confusion their consequence is not clear and so they suffer from nightmares and weep for their sin animal on the other hand are calm self contained and contented they don't run after material things other than food they don't need to worship god as they never suffer from any sense of guilt or sin and sister of human being share those tokens of love and understanding in the remote past unfortunately human have lost those virtues and tokens of love and understanding completely forever so with this children i have told the central idea of the poem okay um, and then i will be now i will be describing the poem stanza wise so let's start so students i will discuss you the main points of the poem and then i will discuss you stanza wise so once again the main points of the poem the poet feels more comfortable and at home with animals so the here children the poet is more comfortable with uh, animals rather than human beings he doesn't feel comfortable with human beings he want to move away from human being and live with animal animals are calm and contented they never weep over their miserable condition as human do they never worship god and weep for their sin they don't suffer from the ma- the mania or madness of owing and possessing things they don't fall down on knees to show respect to others thousand of year ago and sister of human being possess the qualities of love and kindness men have lost their token of love but animals still retain them human being are confused greedy and over ambitious while animals are not so children this is the thing and now i will be reading the poem first i think i could turn and leave with animals they are so plausible and self content i stand and look at them long and long they do not sweat and whim about their condition they do not lie awake in the dark and weep in their sin they do not make me sick discussing their duty to god they no one is dissatisfied no one is demented with the mania of owing things no one need to enter not to his kind that leap thousands of year ago no one is respectable or unhappy over the whole earth so they show their relations to me and i accept them they bring me tokens of of myself they evince them plainly in their possession i wonder where they get those tokens did i pass that way huge time ago and negligently drop them so children now i will be doing the explanation for of stanza 1 
till stanza 5 so this animal is written by walt whitman the american poet assistant journalist let's see what he is written what he is saying to us so a student the stanza of fun page 83 I think I could turn and live with animals. So, children, here the poet want to change place. He wants to uh, convert it to an animal from a human being, as he wanted to live with animals. So they are placid and self-contained. Placid is uh, calm, and self-contained is self-satisfied. So, placid is. self-contained self-satisfied okay plastic is calm and so the poet wants to change places he want to live with animal um he want to convert it to an animal first okay and he wants to as he wants to live with human beings so uh, children animals are so calm and self satisfied and that's why he want to live with animal and not with human being he is so much impressed with animal that he stand and goes on looking at them for a longer period of time so continuously he looks animal because he loves them he wants to live with them in fact children he goes to to the limit he wanted to say that he wanted to change himself into an animal because he loves animal he know they are very innocent pure hearted person without harming anyone is stranger to they do not sweat and whine about their condition wine is complaint and crying so it is um, work hard so sweat is this is stanza 2 so it is to work very hard to work very hard and uh, children wine complain complains and or crying animal net never uh, sweat unnecessary nor nor do they cry over their condition they enjoy full sleep at night so these animal they enjoy full sleep at night their conscience is clear they don't weep over their sin keeping awake the whole night they don't make anyone sick by discussing their duty to god so now children animals never sweat unnecessarily nor do they cry over their miserable condition so these animal they never cried over their miserable conditions they enjoy full sleep at night their conscience is clear they don't weep over their sins keeping awake the whole night okay they don't make anyone sick by discussing their duties to god so children these animal they don't feel miserable at their condition they have a sound sleep at night they never beep over their sin animals don't make other 
sit discussing their duty to God. So children, that's why he loves animal and he wants to live with them. Okay, now stanza 3. No one is dissatisfied. No one is demented with the mania of owing things. No one needs to enter nor to his kind that lived thousands of years ago. No one is respectable or unhappy over the whole earth. So, um, demented is mentally sick. No one is mentally sick. All the animals are satisfied with their lot. Okay, children, mania means uh, madness. Demented is mentally sick and mania means madness. So, now I am going to explain. Okay, all animals are satisfied with their lot. No one is dissatisfied. No animal has the mania of collecting things. Mania means craziness, madness. Animal doesn't want to have any material possession. They want to love, they want to have peace in their life. So animal don't get mad in the race of owing things like humans. They don't kneel down to show respect to others or to those who were born thousands of years ago. No animal consider himself more respectable than others. Like human beings. Children, it is a human being who consider themselves more uh, respectable. So, no, it is not in the case of animal. Okay. Nor can you uh, find any animal on this whole earth who is unhappy over his heart. And children, animals, they are, looks very satisfied. In fact, they never are sad because they don't think unnecessary things they don't want to have tension unnecessary so they are much happy and satisfied with us and this is what the poet like that's why animal never remains dissatisfied and demented they don't suffer from the mania of owing things so first thing children human being are running after material possession which animals don't want to have they are happy whatever they want. Live in the cave. They don't want to have house. Okay. They don't want to have anything luxurious item like refrigerator, TV. They are satisfied whatever they are having. No animal needs to end there. Animals don't suffer from inflated ego like human being. Now is stanza 4. So they show their relation to me and I accept them. They bring, they bring me tokens of myself. They envise them plainly in the possession. So now children, I would like to write you word meanings here. Now, I would like to write the word meaning. So, token means symbol and events means show. So, token here means symbol. Events here means show. Okay, events mean here show. So, animal keep on showing and cementing their relationship to the Poet, the poet accepts those relations with them happily. They provide all token of noble virtues that are present in the poet. They show that they possess all these virtues in plenty. So once again I repeat, they provide all tokens of noble virtues that are present in the poet. They show that they possess all these virtues in plenty. So children, now... Uh, some important point, they show their relation and he accept them, the poet accept them. 
uh, then the poet the poet accept their love and relationship and um, see they uh, children they bring me token of myself mean mean please write it they uh, bring out those noble virtues that are present in the poet so they bring those noble virtues uh, that are present in the poet and then the events those virtues plainly in their position events means to show now children stanza 5 so what is stanza 5 I wonder where they got those tokens. Did I pass that way? That way, huge times ago, and negligently drop them. So, token is symbols. Token means symbols. Okay. And. Huge times ago means long, long ago. Long, long ago. Huge time ago means long, long ago. And negligently means carelessly. the poet wonders from where animal got those noble virtues the poet wonders from where animals got those noble virtues and token of love the path of noble virtues which animal are still following even now human and the poet himself had left negligently long long ago so the poet wonders from where animal have got those noble virtues and token of love in fact he believe that he received from them only those tokens mean noble virtues human have lost all those tokens of noble virtues and children negligently human being lost their path leading to those noble virtues long ago so these are were the some of the important points and which were ex, and the explanation of all the five stanza okay so a student with this i complete the explanation of this stanza and now i will be telling about the style of the poem this is very important like the best poetry of waltz where walt whiteman the poem animal is also written in irregular verse so you have to note it down it is written in irregular verse or the blank verse the poem reflect whiteman animism it is a spirit of animal that is meant to reflect the truth in humanity he respects animal because they have retained those values and token which human seem to have already lost and children central idea the poet wall whitman tell frankly that he feels more comfortable and um, at home with animals rather than his fellow human beings he has lost so much faith in the race of man that he wants to turn and change his position with an animal human being have become mad running after material possession they are bundle of complication according to the poet contradiction and confusion their conscience is calm self contained and contented they don't run after material things other than food they don't need to worship god as they never suffer from any sense of guilt or sin and sister of human being shared those tokens of love and understanding in the remote past unfortunately human have lost those virtues and tokens of love and understanding completely forever so this is all important points in the poem and um, with
okay so now i want to share the message of the poem children what is the message of this poem which is written by walt whitman and what does he want to tell to the reader through this poem so uh, there is nothing great about being human what he wanted to say through this poem and what he wanted to give the message is that there is nothing great about being human they have degraded themselves to the extent that animal appear to be nobly and superior than human beings in other comparison no doubt human did possess those tokens of love innocence simplicity contentment and independence but they have given up such tokens long ago animal still share those noble virtues and appears to be nobler than human now children i just want to tell you once again what are these tokens and how animals have maintained them while human have left them long time ago so the poet says that animals bring to him the token of love and tokens of himself actually these token stand for all that is good in behaving and mutual relationship these are the tokens of love sympathy contentment honesty and innocence there was a time when both animals as well as human possessed those tokens of noble virtues but then human degraded themselves while animals continued walking on the road leading to those tokens of noble virtues human were led astray and followed the wrong path of life they gave up contentment innocence simplicity and love this satisfaction unrest burden of sin and misdeed greed over ambition and arrogance overpowered human sadly enough human have left the virtuous path of life on the other hand animals have not corrupt, corrupted and degraded themselves to that extent their tokens of virtuous living reminds the poet that he must arouse those lost values again for this he will have to change sides and join the word of animal so a student you can see that um, how nicely the poet is telling that he has lost faith in human being rather he would like to live with animals in fact he would he want to change himself with an animal so that he can enjoy his life of satisfaction he is much satisfied in the company of animal because they are, are not running after their material possession they are sincere they honest and first of all they don't do back biting leg pulling they don't hurt each other okay they lead a simple and innocent life so with this i conclude my video and we have finished this poem also so children with this poem i think our syllabus is completed so thank you and have a nice day and children the main thing is that you should read the poem i've already explained the difficult expression the main word word meaning the message the central idea and you must also try to read and read read it because this time mcq question is coming and you have to thoroughly prepare your poem or lessons so with this i'll conclude thank you and have a nice day ahead bye bye